Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Dave in Kentucky here for another shave. Uh, Summer Star had requested I use a shovel head, so I had to run and look through my razors and try to dig one out and uh, found one. And before I send back uh, to Henry the WR3, and I've got my WRH2 handle on it, I wanted to give uh, that another shave as well. So we're going to kind of do a comparison shave. So there's that one. Thank you, Henry. I appreciate very much the opportunity to use that. And I'm going to get this back off to you uh, probably tomorrow. Anyway, have a, a cased shovel head. For those that aren't aware of how they work, these are ones that have a little tab on the back. Built around 1924. So you've got the 1912, the 1914, the 1924 shovel head. So we're going to use that one. I guess we'll do one on each side. I've got a spot there and a spot on the other side that got caught the other day and got hacked off with pimple. Um, so they may reopen. It'll have nothing to do with uh, the razor themselves, no reflection on them. So since we're doing an old and a new together, I kind of mix things up. I've got Ben Halligan's Endemian. Um, shave cream that we're going to use. We'll use the Nivea 2 in the 1 splash again and top things off with the Endymion cologne. Uh, I've had the Concentrate, which is a stronger, but the scent notes to me are different. I prefer this, and I can't remember the comparison. Uh, just the Concentrate came across a little more florally to me than. Um, the base notes and I just appreciate the cologne much better so we're going to use that and I have my unbranded Burma Shave bore brush that I got when I was a kid back in 1979 it still works amazingly and is broken in tremendously so let me wet the face and we'll get to going here some of that on our face oh man I love the scent of this stuff and hopefully that's enough but if it's not we can always come back Now, I know the lighting in my bathroom is not a film studio. <clears throat> and this old Samsung tablet is not the best device to use to do videos. But I've not been convinced to upgrade yet. I've considered getting a GoPro for a while. Not just for doing this, but... Also for doing some outside video or photography. Action stuff, so... Not really looking for a camera per se. But anyway, to kind of dabble, I picked up and it just came in the mail this uh, Acaso EK7000 4K. It's in the waterproof case right now, uh, the way it came. And Dave's not a real nerd when it comes to technology and stuff so it's going to take some practice playing with it and figure out how things work but it may it may improve the quality of the videos going forward and uh, doing this video today again I know it's only been what four or five days since the last one I'm going to go with the WR3 on the left side here <clears throat> and 
I know I just had a video a few days ago with all the razors that had been coming in. We're going to get back to doing basically one a week. I was just trying to keep up with using the ones that were on loan or in a pass around and had to kind of keep moving. I think this one from Henry is the longest I've ever had one. I don't like to hold them long. When it's someone else's razor, I know he's been very generous. He said, hold it indefinitely. I'll let you know if I need it back, but very generous. I just don't like to keep it. If they get a hanker and want to use it, it's theirs. It should be there, right? Uh, going back to this one in the vestige, I think I really would opt for the the Wolfman <laughs> if I had a choice and money wasn't an issue. I'm just amazed at how smooth it is, and even at the 0.23 uh, gap. <clears throat> so the shovel head. I used this yesterday. And I was amazed with how good the shape was. And I was thinking to myself, you know, <clears throat> I've got these $500 razors and $10 and $20 razors. Which one shaves better, right? waiting for me to tell you I'm sorry well after I shaved with this yesterday I was thinking to myself they both shave great it's a matter of what you want let me get a quick rinse <clears throat> something more heft to it modern engineering CNC milled the luxuriousness of it obviously you're gonna want to go with the vestige or the wolfman something like that or blackland of course um have the saber and he's uh, redoing that uh, they had the level one level two I've had both of them Level 2 gave great shaves for me. And he's uh, redesigning that. So, interesting to see what Shane comes up with in that. But if you're wanting that modern one, that's fine. But these old ones will do it and they'll shave just as good. Um, I always question the ones that say, well, the tighter tolerances and stuff. I mean, tolerances are good on these, <laughs> they were well designed in the day. And they do exactly what they're supposed to do. What is it Fuzzy always says? Razor the razor. A blade's a blade. <clears throat> if you have something that holds the blade properly and you know how to shave, you're going to get a good shave with it.
So, if you have the disposable income and you're wanting something that's a little flashier, fancier, or more modern design, maybe. Although I think that those old ones are timeless. And you're fortunate enough to have these options. It's a fun time to be in the wet shaving hobby. See if we've got enough left here to finish up. And it's a matter of then just your disposable income, what you're willing to spend on this. And you may want to divert your money to other hobbies or things so that are more important to you. So aren't we glad we have these old ones you can pick up? thrift store, antique store, flea market. And accomplish the same thing. The prices on the razors, as people see that someone's willing to spend exorbitant amount of money, just keeps going up. There was one that was kind of, uh, it's going to be coming out by Tetalus. <clears throat> and it was kind of, I think, I don't know, someone in their team or whatever released, they were doing a test page, I guess, and it popped up and a link and somebody posted it on DFS and uh, kind of outed it before they intended it. And I'm sure they're upset, frustrated. They've pulled the website link. Uh, it's not functioning anymore, but... Not before some pictures were taken of it and so forth. Um, the reason I mention it is this razor, I didn't say whether it was, uh, there were no details on it. Um, lost my thought. I didn't say whether it was stainless steel or titanium, but either way, way overpriced. Um, it was seven ninety so eight hundred dollars basically for the razor alone. I don't care if it's titanium or stainless steel. That's ridiculous. In my book, that's just me. If you got it with the stand, which is just a base, and it's I think it's a magnetic stand it sets on because uh, they're known for their. Straight razor style shave that basically, but high end. It uses magnets, so they have a magnetic stand. Then, then you're pushing it's a thousand dollars basically. It's a double edged razor, but I know they'll sell them. Um, there's People that have that disposable income and uh, and want it, that's great. That's just kind of you get to a point it falls in the category that. because it's disappearing on me. For me, it gets to a point where even if I had the money, there's no way I'm spending that much on that object. The 
it's used for that purpose. I'm not wealthy, but if I wanted it, do I have, you know, cash? I could go buy that. Yeah, sure, but I'm not spending that much on something like that. Uh-uh, no way, <laughs> but that's me. All right, little witch hazel here. <clears throat> Unfortunately, there are some people that just, uh, because of the hype and wanting to fit in, I think, with others and solely for their shave of the day pictures and stuff to, to look at me type thing. Not everybody, not most, but there are some, you know, that uh, kind of maybe can't control spending when we get into that and get into trouble it's just in this hobby. So you have to be careful and balanced. Um, know what your limits are, what you can afford. If you can afford these and want to, great. I hope you enjoy them. It's an amazing razor and shaver. If not, this is going to get you the same shave, just as uh, comfortable, just as close. We're there. All right. Maybe you do in the one. Again, does not take much of this. A few drops. And it spreads around. And, mm, nice, fresh, clean scent. That just feels good. All right. Yeah, I'm going to hit this before I head to services this morning. And I'll get a couple shots right now. Because mm, that's amazing. Anyway, Dave in Kentucky. Uh, Summer Star, thanks for requesting that. There's your shovel head shave. I hope that uh, is what you were looking for. Um, if you wanted me to be bloody because this one's known to be a little aggressive, it's not. You get the angle right. This thing gives you an amazing shave. Any of the Everettis will, or gems, or stars. And there you go. Thank you again, Henry. I'm going to get this uh, cleaned up. I'm going to polish it a little bit for you. Not affecting anywhere that it's uh, going to be tolerances, but the outside of it a little bit um, and get this off to you. Thank you very much for loaning it to me. Appreciate you again. Uh, Dave in Kentucky, be kind, be safe out there, and we'll see you on the forum.